everybody welcome back to the channel today we have uh, this board here which is an F7 it's called JHE MCU F7 I think I, I said that right <laughs> and um, it's a fully featured board it comes with um, you know a bunch of stuff and it costs only $31 so it's quite interesting for the price and uh, there are another version another two versions of this board for um, you know, for those uh, pilots who like to fly uh, four in one stacks, uh, ESCs and four in one ESCs, but I picked this one up because uh, I usually fly individual ESCs, so it's easier for me to hook up. You know, to it's it's a lot easier for me to set up um, having the ESCs, uh, you know, power pads and, and signal pads all layered by the sides, so as you can see here. Cool. So let's have a good look and what's it, what's inside this board and what this board is capable of. Let's do it. Okay, so this board comes in this the usual China package, nothing fancy, and it comes with two caps, which is pretty good. I was definitely going to use um, these caps, and uh, you know the a little gummies here to absorb the, the you know the vibrations. Now, when I got when I saw this board on the internet, I thought it was quite interesting and um, it looks it looks pretty good. But I looked for information on the internet, and not many people actually adventure to buy this board. So you know, I bite the bullet and I ordered one, and uh, here I am. And I'm, of course, I'm gonna put in a quad and, and take it for a flight to show you guys how how this board performs. If it's worth thirty one dollars, if it's you know utter garbage, and we we'll see, we we'll fight, we we'll figure it out. But let's just talk about what's in the board here. Okay, so this board is, as I said, F7, and it comes with six UART options here. So, you know, plenty of UARTs for you to hook up uh, all this stuff, you know, GPS, uh, you know, whatever you want to hook, you can. It comes with a bottle, um, it comes with black box, up to 16 megabytes of the storage memory. And uh, OSD and uh, you know buzz, uh, all that stuff is just layered behind here, as you can see. Um, you know, VBAT, uh, video in, video out, five volts ground, and then um, over here is to hook up your receivers on the IX2. Everything is layered properly here. Uh, IX3, IX1, TX2, five volts ground, and so on. And then uh, you can actually solder everything to the back too not just in front but that is only one thing that i'm, I'm quite concerned now is uh, this body is using the the gyro it's called um icm 2689 and not the mpu 600 uh, 6000 sorry and the difference um between the mpu 6000 and the icm <clears throat> sorry 2689 is that the ICM is capable of running uh, 32K, uh, you know, samples. And the MPU is not. But, of course, that comes with a price. You get faster, you get faster uh, sampling rates, but a little bit more um, sensitive to vibrations, which uh, I'm going to have to, you know, add caps and make sure I soft mount this, this flight controller, soft mount my motors and use fresh props and everything. So I don't get much vibration if I get any a minimal vibration possible uh, into the footage to, to, to show you guys. Cool. And, um, you know, I'm just going to flush it with Better Flight 4 and, you know, solder it up and take it for a flight. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 